Hi, welcome to Bipolar Mindfulness. This is Ash. On this channel, we talk about two main things. One, having a mental health condition, and two, cultivating mindfulness. Let's talk about weight for a second. The last time we talked, I was at 188, and I was so hoping to go down to 187, but no, I actually went up to 189 as of this morning. And two things. One, I know, we all know, that weight can safely fluctuate one to two pounds every day even. So I, I get that. I'm not even myself up about that. Second thing is, um, I know that I'm going to have to make lifestyle changes. I know that I'm going to have to change my relationship to food. That even once I get off the Seroquel, there's still going to be struggles. It's not just a given that all the weight will come off as soon as I get off this drug. So I, I just want to kind of um, honor the fact that I'm not going to be able to lose 60 pounds. I'm right now trying to lose one pound. And, you know, if I did one pound a week, that's 52 pounds a year. Two pounds a week, which is also still in the safe range, 104 pounds in a year so one by one is what I'm hoping to do that's something I can can get my arms around 60 80 whatever those numbers are big so it's been a good experiment to see um, how to love myself without identifying with how much I weigh or what medications I'm on um, but this has been definitely a process of self-love so First thing is, what dose of Seroquel? Still on 175, so just maybe four or five days from dropping down from 200. Two is weight, so back up to 189. Uh, three is any sort of mental or emotional things that I'm experiencing due to withdrawal. Uh, nothing significant, nothing noteworthy yet. Uh, so that's that fourth thing is something that mindfulness has taught me that's made things easier for me in the last day so i've always had anxiety i think as humans there is anxiety and one thing i learned yesterday was that when when I feel anxious, my first inclination is, oh, I need to take a pill. Um, I don't I don't like this feeling at all. And so it's it's strange but common that then I have anxiety about the fact that I'm having anxiety. It makes me very anxious to feel anxious. So how do I stop that downward spiral? I realize it's happening. So that's cool. All of a sudden there's an awareness. Okay, this is happening. And rather than trying to say, okay, why did this happen? Or how can I stop this from happening? Mm -mm. This, the skill is super simple, so check it out. When I feel the anxiety coming on, then I close my eyes and I ask myself, how does this physically feel? So, all right, see, it doesn't take long to have an anxious thought. I have an anxious thought. Okay, here's how I'm feeling about that. My cheeks feel hot, and the muscles in my jaw feel tighter. My stomach is churning just kind of this queasy feeling. I'm kind of sweating a little bit. Okay, so that's it, that's the skill. That you, A, the recognition that you're having anxiety is huge. You're able to step outside of the emotion and see this is happening. I'm gonna observe this rather than being all consumed by it. So just seeing it, oh, okay, I'm feeling really anxious right now. The second thing is allowing myself to stop 
and kind of go into my body and, and say out loud, I don't even think it, I say out loud, I am feeling um, my back has gotten tight or, you know, things like that. And as I said out loud, all right, well, then I finish the list of all the things that I'm feeling physically. And I just, you know, just hang out here for 10 or 15 seconds, okay? This is what I'm feeling. It's amazing how just creating that little bit of space between the feeling of anxiety and the observation of that feeling. Sometimes it stops, it's been stopping it completely when it's little stupid stuff. And then if I have something big come to mind like just now, if I just stay with that for 15 seconds and it's uncomfortable and I don't like it and I'd rather take a pill than feel uncomfortable, I just sit with the discomfort, okay. All right, so this feels uncomfortable. And then I at least feel better, if not fine altogether. So that's today. See you guys tomorrow.